Interferon Beta medication, Rebif, yep. and I and, but it started affecting my liver yeah. and my heart yeah. and my lungs. Yeah. And then after that, it was constant. It was he put me on Copaxone, and that I, I was on that for so many years, and I kept falling and falling. I couldn't walk. I ended up on a wheelchair, and I've been on a wheelchair for five years. And I cannot walk, and um, and it's also affected all these other medications because I was also on the the uh, muscle relaxant that they give to people with MS. Hepo, I think it's oh, I forgot the name. Um, they put me on that, and I started having really bad reactions to that too. So yeah, and I they, just want you know. Well, look, I can tell you what we do to support and promote the structure and function of your central nervous system. It's not that difficult, and I'm also going to tell you what my experience with MS has been. Okay, but before I do that, I just want to underline something, right? So you're suffering with a chronic, debilitating disease. That number one, the MDs who are supposed to be the standard bearers for medicine. They're supposed to be the go-to people in the world. American medical doctors are supposed to be the best in the world at figuring out how to help people with pain and suffering due to physical, mental, and emotional ailments. Right? I mean, that's their job. And they have no idea what causes multiple sclerosis. And the treatments that they gave to you made you worse into the bargain. And yet, you know, you're paying them hard-earned money every month in the form of medical insurance premiums just for the privilege of seeing them, and they have completely let you down. They have completely dropped the ball. Is, is that about an accurate description of what your experience with your health care has been? Yes. Exactly. And you're, you're not alone, Yvette. I mean, you're not alone. And, you know, I'm not saying everybody has multiple sclerosis, but the fact of the matter is that everybody's sick and suffering in this country. Why is everybody sick and suffering? Because the MDs are the wrong dog for the hunt. They are. You know, MDs are good. They're, they're good at trauma care, surgery when it's necessary, and a handful of infectious diseases. This is their wheelhouse. You wouldn't go to a chiropractor for open-heart surgery. Well, why go to an MD for multiple sclerosis? Because it's not their wheelhouse. They've got nothing for you, as has been your unfortunate experience. But most people don't know this. They think that their MD knows what's best for them. They think that their MD is the exclusive emperor of the domain of medicine and they're the best in the world, and they're not. Your medical doctor doesn't know what's best for you. They only know what they've been trained in. And what they've been trained in is one small piece of the pie of medical science, but the drug companies have sold you and everybody else in the world the false notion that the MD is the undisputed king of medicine. And, you know, uh, so you go to them and... They don't help you with your condition, and they hurt your liver, and they hurt your heart, and you get worse into the bargain. I mean, it's nuts. What we? I mean, how long are we going to have to take it here? How, how many more people are going to have to suffer their ineffective, dangerous, and expensive treatments before we rally around the flag and say, I am done this far and no further. I'm sick and tired of feeling sick and tired, and I just ain't going to take it anymore. Well, you know, you've, I think, have gotten to that point, and that's why you're calling me up, and God bless you for doing that. But the fact yeah. of the matter is that this is a big, this is a gigantic problem. And it, it, the, 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 the problem here is that it is so big that people miss it. It is such a big phenomenon, complete, ineffective MD treatments, that everybody misses it. It's right in front of their face. And that's why we continue to suffer. And, you know, for instance, and because the pharmaceutical industry has so much money and so much power wrapped up into everything here in the world, you know, rather than saying, President Obama saying, well, look, we need to license and regulate more naturopathic doctors. We, give, we need to give more research dollars to medical nutrition. We need to give more research dollars to acupuncture and traditional Chinese medicine. They don't say that. They say we have to regulate the medical profession. No, you don't. You need to abandon the medical profession. I'm glad you called. Stick with me, Yvette. I'm going to dial this in for you when we come back. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Fire Your MD Now.
866-582-9933. That's the number to call to speak to me live and in person. 866-582-9933. We're speaking with Yvette. Uh, let me punch Yvette back up here. Hello, Yvette. Are you still with me? Hello. Hello, Yvette. Come on in. Hello. Oh, you're way in the background, Yvette. I'm here. All right. That's better. Okay. Now, uh, for the listening audience who's watching this live um, via YouTube, because we are streaming this live, I'm going to pull up a little PowerPoint presentation uh, that uh, I did uh, a while ago in order to help you understand what I'm talking about. Now, our understanding of uh, multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's disease, Lou Gehrig's disease, which is also known as uh, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, from our point of view, all of these conditions are caused by oxidative damage to the central nervous system. Well, what's oxidative damage? Inquiring minds want to know. Well, oxidative damage is caused by free radicals. Some, it's, a, it's a bio, well, it's not a biochemical, but it's a substance in the body that science has des described as a free radical. A free radical, most of the times, is an oxygen atom that has lost an electron. And when an oxygen atom loses an electron, it becomes very reactive. It becomes like metabolic Velcro, and it sticks to whatever it can stick to, and whatever it sticks to becomes oxidized. And when things become oxidized, they become destroyed. Oxidation causes iron to turn to rust. It causes fruit to turn into, you know, to go bad. It causes people to get old. Uh, liver spots uh, on the skin are caused by oxidative damage. It's uh, uh, fatty tissue in the skin that's become oxidized, and you know it's the same thing that makes wine turn into vinegar. It's oxidative damage, and it's a big bad voodoo daddy. We believe that multiple sclerosis, Lou Gehrig's disease, Parkinson's disease, um, etc., is oxidative damage to different parts of the central nervous system. We believe that it's oxidative damage to different parts of the central nervous system. Well, that's not good. So what do I need to do in order to avoid exposure to oxidative damage? Well, you need to stop drinking oil that's in a bottle. That's right, no more olive oil. You need to stop drinking salad dressing. You need to just eliminate any oil. If there's oil in your cupboard, throw it the hell out. Don't use any more oil that's in a bottle. You need to stop eating well-done red meat. Well-done red meat will deliver to your body free radicals. Fried food is a gigantic free radical donor. Fried food is a big bad voodoo daddy. Meat that has nitrates added as preservatives to it. These are things like bacon and sausage and pepperoni and deli ham and deli turkey. Now you can eat bacon if you want to, just get it nitrate free. You have to avoid nitrates and even if you've cleaned your diet up, so there's no more oil, no more well done red meat, no more fried food and no more meat with nitrates, just walking down the street breathing in carbon monoxide or cigarette smoke, you're going to inhale nasty chemicals into your body that, guess what, create free radicals and you're going to have oxidative damage. Or if you go to the dentist and get a dental x-ray or a chest x-ray by the knucklehead MD, you're going to have free radicals in the body. Free radicals are everywhere all the time and they're really hard to you know not have exposure to but cleaning up your diet can go a long way towards eliminating this crap from your body however remember your body is smart your body has wisdom it's our supposition that your body knows how to fix itself and your body wants to fix itself and well guess what your body is aware of free radical damage and free radicals because they cause oxidative damage are eliminated by a class of biochemicals called antioxidants. That's how antioxidants got their name. Antioxidants neutralize oxidative damage. And the body's own naturally occurring uh, antioxidant is this funny little molecule called glutathione. Glutathione. Your body has its own natural antioxidant, glutathione. Glutathione is recycled by the mineral selenium. So, as we are attempting to increase <clears throat> your body's resistance to oxidative damage caused by free radicals, it would be wise to increase your consumption of selenium because selenium helps your body to eliminate free, free radical damage. Now, 
Antioxidants are measured by something called an ORAC score. That's a shorthand for oxygen radical absorption capacity, or ORAC score. And it's our experience that the longest lived cultures in the world uh, eat a diet that's very high in ORAC. The Vilcabambas in Peru, the Hunzas in Afghanistan, the Okinawans in extreme southern Japan, the Sardinians, uh, the Bama people in southwestern China, and a lot others. These uh, people live to be over 100 years old, and one of the secrets to their longevity, Dr. Wallach wrote a whole book about this called Immortality, is by accident they were eating more than 20,000 ORAC points of antioxidants a day. 20,000. They ate 20,000 ORAC points of food that contained oxi you know, antioxidants, and they live to be over 100, and they don't get multiple sclerosis. And in the United States, we consume 1,500 ORAC a day, and you know we're sick and suffering all over the place. So one of the keys here for longevity and to battle oxidative damage is to increase the presence of antioxidants in your body. The goal here is 20,000 ORAC points of antioxidants a day. But look, if you've got an illness which is presumptively caused by lots of free radical damage, then instead of 20,000 ORAC, your goal should be 100,000 ORAC a day. Now, there's a lot of different ways to get that. A longevity has a number of different products that are loaded with um, ORAC. So I'm going to recommend a treatment protocol for you, and then I'm going to calculate how much ORAC is there. And then you're going to have to, you know, get some food into your body to bring your total ORAC score to 100,000 or over. So that's a really long-winded way of saying, here's what I would recommend you do, Yvette, to support yes. and promote your body's ability to fix itself. How much do you weigh, please? I weigh 124 pounds. Okay. So here's what I want you to do every month. I want you to do one anti-aging. Uh, healthy Pack 2.0, one anti-aging Healthy Pack 2.0, and if you take everything in that Healthy Pack, you are going to get. I'm calculating it right now. 24,000 ORAC. That's going to be 24,000 ORAC. That's pretty good just from the, that supplement there, of those that combination of supplements. I want you to do four bottles of selenium a month. Four bottles of selenium a month. Uh, the selenium doesn't give you any ORAC, but it increases your body's own ORAC, so that's an impossible thing to calculate. I also want to give you more EFAs because your brain is made from essential fatty acids and cholesterol, and this is the next thing to talk about. So I'd like you to do a two bottles of EFA plus a month. So that's one anti-aging healthy pack 2.0, four bottles of selenium, and two additional bottles of EFA plus, EFA plus per month. And the secret sauce here would be chocolate. I, mean, I know, that's a bitter pill to swallow. If you can afford <laughs> it, I'd like you to do four boxes of triple treat chocolate a month. If you can't do that, do three boxes of triple treat chocolate a month. If you can't do that, do two boxes of triple treat chocolate a month or one box of triple treat chocolate a month because one box of triple treat chocolate gives you 18,000 ORAC. I mean one piece, one piece of triple treat chocolate, not one box, one piece of chocolate. Right. I know, I know. 17,000 ORAC, so you know you want to go crazy with the chocolate. Uh, and I miscalculated the ORAC dose from the other stuff. You're going to get 32,000 ORAC, 32,000 ORAC per serving of the anti-aging Healthy Pack 2.0. So if you do the Healthy Pack 2.0 and three bottles, three pieces of chocolate a day, you're going to be over 100,000 ORAC, and, you know, that beats a poke in the eye with a sharp stick. So now the last thing that would be recommended here to support and promote your central nervous system would be a diet that's high in cholesterol because that's what your bones are made from. That's what your brain is made from, cholesterol. Cholesterol, right. your central nervous system and your brain are made from cholesterol. So the recommendation here is a diet that's extremely high in cholesterol. And how are we going to do that? With eggs, right? Dr. Wallach recommends 12 eggs a day. I don't know anybody that can really do that, but in any event, that's the recommendation. You want to be going crazy for cholesterol. I mean crazy for cholesterol. So eggs, butter, 
rare meat, chicken with the skin, right? Uh, butter, full fat milk, full fat yogurt, uh, more eggs, and don't forget to be salting your food. So you want to go crazy with cholesterol, crazy with antioxidant ORAC points, and dial in the anti-aging healthy pack, the selenium, and the extra essential fatty acids. Now you want to follow that program for six months. Six months. And okay. you have to eliminate the 10 bad foods. Because when we're filling your body's nutritional tank up with all the good stuff, if you're eating food that's inappropriate for your body, the nutrients that we're pouring in are going to leak out before they get into your blood. The nutrients are going to leak out before they get into your blood. So you need to stop eating the 10 bad foods. And you can get that list for free on my website. Just visit fireyourmdnow.com and click on the link to sign up for my uh, free newsletter and you'll automatically be directed to a page where you can download that list for free. It's called Good Food, Bad Food. I want you to just stop eating the 10 bad foods. Stop eating the 10 bad foods. Go crazy for cholesterol. Go crazy for antioxidants. Take these nutritional supplements and you got to do this for six months. This is a six-month program, right? And I'll tell you a little insider secret here, Yvette. <clears throat> I've met people who have completely recovered from MS, and they used to be in wheelchairs, and now they're kickboxers. I've met people that have done that. I also know people that have gotten 50% better with their multiple sclerosis symptoms or Lou Gehrig's disease. And I also know people that have only gotten about 10% better. And the deciding factor in the people that, you know, recover to a tremendous degree and the people who just recover a little bit is eggs. You got to be, or cholesterol. You have to be over, you got to go crazy for cholesterol. Go crazy for cholesterol. Clean up your diet. Eliminate the 10 bad foods. Take the supplements and for goodness sake, keep your fingers crossed. Now the last thing I want to tell you, Yvette, because we're running out of time here. Again, okay. this is not, you know, a multiple sclerosis program. This is an Yvette. This is an Yvette program, right? So as you're taking it, as you're looking to see the neurological symptoms improve, you also want to see your sleep and your mood and your energy and your appetite and your bowel movements and everything improve because this is a holistic program for everything here. It's not just for your central nervous system. Everything's connected inside the human body. And when you give your body a comprehensive nutrition program like this, we expect a lot of things to get better across the board, including, of course, the neurological stuff that we're really, you know, focused on here. So be mindful of how this program affects you across the board. Uh, check it out and get in touch with the longevity person that told you about this show. 